Put the why at the center of your donor experience and then put your donor's experience at the heart of your fundraising. This is about organizations finding out what it is that inspires donors to give to them. And I find a very large number of people are not great at that. So I want to share with you a chart from this is a new book which has just been published in the UK. I quoted it in the, um, at the beginning uh, in the definitions of fundraising. It's called Donors for Life and it features a chart which talks about relationship fundraising. The book is, is actually a practitioner's guide to relationship fundraising. So the two guys who wrote it are both uh, heads of fundraising, or one of them has moved on uh, since then. But from this book, they talk about putting the why at the center of your communication strategy. Why, why us? Why do people give to our cause? What is the big thing? <coughs> that differentiates us, and they spend quite a lot of time defining the process of arriving at the why and how to get to why. And once you have a clear idea of why it is that your supporters uh, are supporting you, it's often quite different from what the charity uh, thinks. Um, I'll give you an example of how the why can be very different. I mentioned the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. They're, they get support from all over Britain, and they had been getting that support for, since 1824 when they were founded. And then they did some research among their supporters. Now, they believe they're a charity that saves lives at sea, uh, people who are washed overboard or, you know, um, in difficulties, yacht, yacht owners and things like that. They save about 2,000 lives a year and their volunteer crews are in stations around the country and whenever a boat gets into difficulties or anybody's at sea it gets into difficulties, the lifeboat will be launched to save their lives. And for decades, centuries even, they believed that people supported them because of their mission to save lives at sea. That was why they thought people supported them. And then they did some research and they found that people don't care about saving lives at sea. Their donors li literally don't care. I mean, rich yacht owners who get into difficulty in a stormy sea, who cares about them? Or drunken Russian sailors who fall overboard in a Force 9 gale, you know, throw them back. Or windsurfers who get washed out to sea. You, nobody is motivated by saving them. What they found was that People supported the lifeboats for an entirely different reason. And that reason was the heroism and self-sacrifice of the volunteer lifeboat crews that the donors believed were an inspiration and an exemplary something that they should support heart and soul because those people would get up in the middle of the night in a... In a Force 9 Gale and put their lives at risk to save somebody who they had never met and would perhaps never know. And that's why people give over, well over 100 million pounds a year to the lifeboats. That's the why. And that totally transformed the way they did their fundraising communication. But what Paul and uh, Craig thought was that when you're looking at the why, if you put the why as a focus on your fundraising, you start with powerful stories that you can tell people about that why, about how you do what you're there to do. That then becomes the basic foundation of your relationship building because those stories are your culture. The relationship building then enables you to ask properly because you have an established relationship with somebody and you're in a much better position with an established relationship to ask people properly, then that leads to what they call donor care, donor magic, the service element, the bit, the, the famous for frequent fast fabulous feedback, the bit that really differentiates you and makes people feel proud to belong to your organization then that feeds into your continuous process of data connection and analysis, which then leads back to your storytelling. And that virtuous circle, they believe, 
is the light bulb moment that goes on. <laughs>